guys, how are you? Um, I had a couple of requests, so I'm going to try to do a couple of quick Christmas videos, maybe to entertain you for a moment. Um, I just want to say hi to all the grandbabies, the ones in Virginia and Germany, and um, it's Christmas. It's the year of a pandemic. I know we'll go back and look at this year's later and remember we did survive hopefully and uh, just want you all to know i miss you all very much my family all around the country so what i'm doing right now is i'm making what's called a raisin now you can do this with different things it doesn't have to be a piece of scrap balloon but uh, scrap balloon is easy i have been known to use tic tacs um, which make a really cute raisin inside the balloon um, but I don't have any with me today so we're just gonna make tie a couple of chunky knots into a balloon trim it up and see how it goes so I hope everyone is doing okay this is uh, December of the crazy year 2020, as we all know. I'm just gonna take that raisin and put it right inside the five inch round. Okay. I made a couple of these last night. And people seem to really like them. It's the time of year that things like this are a lot of fun. You can put this on a bracelet, on a headband, or a CD. So, CD if you put it on a CD. This this one's kind of small. I do a bigger version of the snowman and um, it's better for the CD than this little guy. This little guy makes a great headband or um, a bracelet. Oh, well, let me put my nozzle on my Legenda here. Look, Jenny, I took it off. See? When you put the Legenda in the balloon bag, if you don't take the nozzle off, it messes up the top of your bag. So Jenny always teases me about that. Okay, so here's number one. Eh, it's a little bit less than a hand. Then you can hear the raisin in there. I'm gonna let a little air out. It's called burping. Tie that knot and come tie this one. This one's going to be the head, so we want it to be more round and a little bit less air. So we have maybe that. You know, all I can do is instead of tying that, I can just tie them together, save myself a little finger work here so now you can hear those in there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it up I'm gonna come to that part of the balloon I'm gonna grab it and twist yeah I didn't grab a piece of 60 which I have a ton of but here I'll just use a new one I'm gonna grab this and holding that little raisin I'm just going to wrap that around and tie it in a knot. And I'm going to tie it again. So what that does is it gives me a connection point so we can put something like a hat on the snowman. So, so we have the one at the top. Now we have one at the bottom. And we're just going to reach up there and grab it. And same thing, we're gonna hold that and wrap round and round and round and round and around, catching that raisin to give us a connection point at the bottom. Tie, tie it twice. And we're gonna give that a little clip. So now what we have done is we've made two connection points, one for the hat, one for the base. And 
So to make it look, doesn't look like a snowman yet, does it? No. But we're gonna grab this to 60, one, this is a 160. Give it a little squeeze, a little burp, a little tie. Now we're gonna squish it, squeeze, let the air back in. Pinch twist, and we're gonna go right here around the neck. And connect it back in. And that's just gonna firm up that neck area. Okay, now we're just gonna grab it here and go one, two, three. Get the ear out. Now we're gonna make a hat. Another 160. That nozzle's a little wonky. There we go. Give it a squeeze, let some air out. I'm gonna do probably about three fingers. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe that's closer to four. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna bring the knot through. Lock it in, same size, and we'll do a little roll through. That'll lock that bubble in place. Come down. Pull that nozzle back through there one more time. Yeah. There's our snowman hat. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Gonna wrap this around here. Okay. Now remember that connection point we made? We're gonna grab that and we're just gonna pull it tight and wrap it in. Looking more like a snowman. Okay, so since we're gonna make it a bracelet, we're going to make a base for it to sit on. And by that, we're just gonna make a six petal flower out of another, I guess it's 160. I wanna thank everyone for watching my videos and encouraging me to come back and do more. We all know the pandemic is raging angry right now, but the vaccine is out. It was released this week. And the reason I'm saying all this is because in case we watch this in a couple of years, we can remember how it was because I think we tend to forget once things get better where we came from. But I know one of the first things I'm going to do is plan some trips. And that's what I do in my spare time. I think about, oh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there. I haven't been able. I always talk about my babies in Germany, but I've got some babies in Virginia. I haven't been able to see either. So they're on top of my list. Okay, we're gonna grab up that connection point that we made right here. We're gonna grab, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab it and wrap it around tight. I like to use white because it looks like he's sitting in a pile of snow. So we might have some mechanics here we need to clean up. Just got to be careful. These are very sharp scissors. And I have accidentally punctured my balloon before. So, so far, there we go. Now we need to do a little artwork. Very, very basic. Um, if you are a balloon artist, you think about Bada Boom stickers, Elizabeth uh, Liza Doodle. She has some really great 
stickers, or um, I'm not sure she calls them stickers, labels. I actually brought some in so I could show you, but I left them in my bag. But she is a great balloon artist. She, in my early days, really taught me some serious, serious balloon skills that help me be the balloon artist I am today. And I will always be grateful to her. Along with many other people like Grandma V, and who stayed up all night teaching me all kinds of balloon tricks and balloon skills. The list goes on and on. It's a wonderful balloon family out there. And since we haven't been able to have a balloon convention this year, I miss all of you. Jenny Henry, Grandma V, Diane Cross. So we drew the arms on and he doesn't have a nose. He doesn't have a nose, but he will. I have my wonderful little orange marker here. We're gonna draw a carrot. On, color it in. And there is our balloon snowman. And I think Grandma V was the one that told me about this in my early days. These are head hair ties from the dollar store. You get a hundred for a dollar. So this clip comes from Legenda. Jenny Henry gave it to me a couple of years ago. And I said, oh, that's great to put my hair ties on. So I wear it on my belt loop. Just pull the hair tie off. Now some people will use a piece of a balloon, but these hair ties, I like them. Just pull it down like this. And you have a balloon bracelet. But if you don't want a balloon bracelet, say you want it on a headband, just grab a headband. And you can wrap it around with a balloon, or you can use the hair tie. Let me see if I can get this off. Normally, you don't have the hair tie on there if you're going to put it on a headband. You're going to take a piece of scrap balloon, wrap it around, and there you have a snowman. I don't think you can see it. There you go. Well, that's all for today. So remember, be kind. Wash your hands, never put a balloon in your mouth, and Merry Christmas. We'll add that on because we're getting close to Christmas. Um, be good.